Hello again everyone, this is Paxton Smith at RealTimeMath.com, your link to live online math help. And today, in our arithmetic series, we're going to look at reducing fractions. Now when we reduce fractions, or simplify as it's also called, we want to make sure that we have taken common factors out of the numerator and denominator, the top and the bottom. You're going to divide common factors out of the top and bottom until the only common factor that you can take out left is the number one. Okay? So we're going to keep going until we get to that point. Or, and I'm going to first show you the one step wonder way to do it, that's to find the GCF. GCF is the greatest common factor. In a previous video we discussed the GCF and that it's the largest number that will factor out of two numbers or more evenly. Okay, so if you're unclear about the GCF, I suggest you go and see that GCF video. And in this case, I've chosen 24 and 64 to find the GCF of 8 for. Okay, so 24, 64, we want to reduce that until it's simplified, until no other factors besides 1 will come out of those numbers. So for 24, 64, we found the GCF to be 8. Again, that's the largest number that divides out of those evenly. And what you're going to do, just like when we created an equivalent fraction, we do the same thing to the top that we do to the bottom, and vice versa. So we're going to divide top and bottom. doesn't matter if you do top or bottom first. We're going to divide each of these numbers here by our GCF. In this case, it's 8. And I like to write that right there. Make sure you write that right away so you don't forget and only maybe do the bottom and forget to do the top. So what we're going to do is when we do our GCF we know that we're going to have the lowest form of our fraction, in the simplified form, in just one easy step because we've used the GCF. Okay, so we go 24 divided by 8 and that gives us 3 in the numerator and then we go 64 divided by 8 and that gives us 8 in the denominator and we see that 3 8 is the lowest form, the simplified or even reduced form of 24 64. Again you want to just make sure and check there's no number other than 1, no whole number other than 1 that will divide out of 3 and 8 evenly. That tells us our fraction is simplified and reduced. Now let's say you didn't know how to find the GCF or you just didn't have the time, you're in the middle of a test, well, you don't always have to use the GCF. That's the great thing. There's typically more than one way to do it. What you could do is just start looking for any common factor to take out of both top and bottom. So down here I have 24 64 written again. And we want to just start taking any old common factor out of top and bottom. When both numbers are even, you know that a 2 will come out, will divide out of both numbers evenly. So we're going to go ahead and divide top and bottom by 2. Okay? And again, if you don't know the GCF, just start with any common factor. The only downfall is you probably have to do one or two or even more steps and make sure that you get to that final simplified form. With, uh, with the advantage with the GCF is that you only have to do one reducing step. Okay, so here 24 divided by 2 gives us 12. And 64 divided by 2 gives us 32. You may have noticed that a 4 would come out of both of these. You could have taken a 4 out first. Okay, uh, any way you get there is fine as long as you get to that final simplified form. Now, check and see. Well, 12 and 32 are both still even. So we still want to take out another number. We can take out a 2. So we're going to go ahead and divide top and bottom by 2. Again, make sure whatever you're doing to the top or the bottom, you do to the bottom or top. So 12 divided by 2 right here is going to give us 6 and 32 divided by 2, half of 32, gives us 16. Alright, well, are we done? 
No, 6 and 16 are still even numbers. There's still a number that will come out of top and bottom evenly besides the number 1. And that number, because they're both even, that number again is the number 2. So we keep going here. And I'm showing you the long way to go about it. Again, the GCF will find this in just one easy step. And our final answer, and we're going to check to make sure we get 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we get 16 divided by 2 right here gives us 8. So indeed, going about it the long way, we still get to the same answer of 3 eighths that we got to in one easy step with the GCF. You can use either method that you choose. Like I say, if you're in a time crunch in a test situation and you just need to start reducing, you don't want to waste time thinking about the GCF, just go ahead and start pulling out any common factors you see. Again, always check to see if there are any more until you get down to the point where you cannot take out any other factors evenly besides the number 1. So either way, we got to the number 3 eighths in both cases. In our next series, arithmetic series video, we'll be looking at adding and subtracting fractions that have different denominators. We call those unlike fractions. So please tune in again. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Again, I'm Paxton Smith at RealTimeMath.com. Check out the site for some live online math tutoring. Have a good one.